Good afternoon friends, uh, we meet again uh, in our third session for mechanics of solids. I am going to continue with the numericals. Uh, in the last lecture, we had discussed regarding uh, two types of loading, one was an uh, inclined load and second was uniformly distributed load. Today we are going to study regarding the couple moment if the force acting on the beam is gradually varying load or it is a trapezoidal load or it is a couple how to calculate the support reactions. So, these three types of problems are going to be covered in today's lecture. To start with I have taken one uh, problem, the problem is based for a cantilever type of a beam. You can see this is a cantilever beam, it is subjected to a couple and it is subjected to an inclined force. Now, we already know that to solve this particular problem, the first step is to draw a free body diagram. Now, to draw a free body diagram, free body diagram is a diagram in which we are making the beam free from all the constraints. To start with, first it is an inclined force. So, the inclined force is to be resolved into two components, one in the horizontal direction and second in the vertical direction. So, as the force is inclined at an angle of 30 de 60 degree with respect to x axis. So, our x component or the horizontal component will be 10 cos 60 and the vertical component will be 10 sin 60. So, 10 sin 60 that is equal to 8.66 kilo newtons and 10 cos 60 that is equal to 5 kilo newtons. As the force is inwards, so both the components are also inwards. The second is a couple moment. You can see the unit is kilo newton meters. So, no uh, free diagram is to be drawn from for that particular thing. Now, if, uh, if we see at this third point that is C. So, C point is subjected to a fixed support. So, whenever we have got a fixed support, there are three reactions, one in the vertical direction so, vertical V c, second is horizontal that is H c and third is moment that is m about point c. Then after moving from point c for a distance of 1 meter, we move to a point B where couple is there. So, we will show a couple that is 10 kilo Newton meters and after point of 1 meter, we move to point A and A is subjected to inclined load which has been split up into two components, one in the vertical direction that is 8.66 kilo newtons and second is horizontal that is 5 kilo newtons. Now, after drawing this free uh, body diagram, we have to apply our conditions of equilibrium. What are the three conditions of equilibrium? The first condition is sigma h is equal to 0. So, for sigma h is equal to 0, we are talking about algebraic summation. Algebraic summation means we have to consider plus and minus. If the force is moving towards positive x axis, we have to consider it to be positive. If the force is moving towards negative x axis, we have to consider it as negative. So, we start with our first condition that is sigma h is equal to 0. We can see h c, it is moving towards positive x axis. So, it will be plus h c. Then second is 5 kilo Newton, it is moving towards negative x axis, it will be minus 5 that is equal to 0. So, h c that is equal to 5 kilo Newtons. Second is, second is sigma v is equal to 0. Now, sigma v is equal to 0 that means algebraic summation of all the vertical forces that should be equal to 0. If the force is moving towards positive y axis, it is to be taken as plus and if the force is moving towards negative y axis, it is to be taken as minus. So, to start with first is V c, it is in the vertical upper direction, it will be taken as positive. Second is 10 kilo Newton meters, it is a moment. So, it is not to be included when we are talking about force and the third is vertical force that is 8.66 in the vertical downward direction. So, minus 8.66. 6, 6 that is equal to 0. So, V c that is equal to 8.66 kilo Newtons. This is the second answer or the second reaction that we are getting and the third is the couple moment. So, third condition that is sigma moment is equal to 0. 
right. So, this is our third condition. Now, when we are talking about sigma moment, that means one moment will be clockwise moment and second moment will be anti clockwise moment. So, we are assuming the clockwise moment as positive and the anti clockwise moment as negative. Now, when we talk about a moment, always the moment is to be taken about a particular point, right. That means, we will take a moment about support that is point C. So, we can write over here moment about support C. To start with, what is moment? Moment is force into perpendicular distance. Now, which perpendicular distance? So, perpendicular distance is nothing but the distance between the line of action of the force and the point at which we are going to take the moment. So, to start with, first is 8.66. So, 8.66 is a vertical force and moment is to be taken at point C. So, what is the perpendicular distance? Horizontal and that is equal to 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Now, we can see that the force is in the downward direction. So, my right hand thumb rule, the right thumb is in the downward direction and the fingers are showing a direction that is clockwise. So, the movement of the force will be clockwise and that will be taken as plus. Second is 5 kilo Newton. Now, if you will see the 5 kilo Newton line of action is coinciding with the point where the moment is to be say, taken. So, there is no vertical distance. So, directly moment produced by 5 kilo Newton will be equal to what? 0, because there is no perpendicular distance. Then we come to the third. Third is what? It is a couple. So, directly we can write down the value of couple no need to multiply distance because it itself is a moment. Just see whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise. It is at present in the clockwise direction. So, for clockwise we have assumed positive. So, we will write down positive. And the last is moment C. It is also a couple. So, directly we have to write down M of C and it is assumed in the clockwise direction. So, positive that is equal to 0. So, now we start with so, moment about point C that is equal to 8.66 into 2 plus, so minus 10. So, that gives you 8.66 into 2 that is 17.2 minus 17.2 minus 10 that is equal to minus 27.2 kilo Newton meters. Now, what does this negative sign indicate? This negative sign indicates that the assumed direction of my moment is wrong and the moment will act or the reaction at support C that is moment C will act in the anti clockwise direction. So, we have to change over here and show that now the moment will act in opposite direction that is anti clockwise direction. So, I hope uh, you are clear with this particular uh, topic where couple is acting as well as inclined load is acting. Now, the next type of load which I want to explain to you for calculating the support reaction is a gradually varying load. We had discussed in a very first lecture what is a gradually varying load. Gradually varying load is a load which is varying uniformly per meter length. So, that particular type of a load is called as a gradually varying load. Suppose, we have got a simply supported beam and that simply supported beam is having one support as a hinge support and second support as a roller support. Right? Suppose, at one end we are having a gradually varying load of intensity 10 kilo Newtons, intensity of 10 kilo Newton per meter and that is one point load acting over here. Suppose, this point load is of 20 kilo Newtons, right. So, if you want to take a distance, this is 1 meters, this is 1 meter, this is 3 meters and this is 1 meter. Right? We will name all those points where the force is acting. So, suppose this is our point A, 
this is our point B, point C, point D and point E. To start with as usual, the first step will be to draw a free body diagram. To draw a free body diagram, we have to take all the points in the vertical downward direction and draw a line which will represent as our beam. To start with, support A is a roller support. So, we know when we have got a roller support, always there will be only one reaction in the vertical direction. So, that is called as reaction R of A or it is vertical. So, we can also call it as V of A. Second is after moving from point A towards point B, we can see that there is a gradually varying load. If you remember my first lecture, we had discussed that whenever we have got a gradually varying load, the load is converted in terms of a point load by taking the area of a triangle. So, what is the area of a triangle? So, the area of a triangle is 1 upon 2 into base into height. So, that is equal to 15 kilo newtons. Right? Now, we have converted the GVL in terms of a concentrated load and this concentrated load will act at the center. So, the center for a triangle is obtained by intersection of a medians and with respect to 90 degree, the distance of the point load is L by 3. So, we can show over here that 15 kilo Newton force is acting and this distance is L by 3. So, L by 3 that is equal to what is L? 3 meters. So, 3 by 3 that is equal to 1 meter. Now, total is 3 meters. If this is 1 meter, this distance will be equal to 2 meters. So, now this we can show it in our free body diagram that GVL is converted into a concentrated load of 15 kilo Newtons which will act at the CG. So, over here we have got a concentrated load of 15 kilo Newtons. The remaining distance that will be equal to 2 meters. Then we come to the another point and that point is point load. So, no, no need to convert the point load directly we are getting in concentrated load. So, we can show over here a point load of intensity 20 kilo Newtons. Then we come to again 1 meter distance and we get our support E. At support E, we can say it is a hinge support. So, whenever we have got a hinge support, there will be two reactions, one in the vertical direction that is V E and another in the horizontal direction that is H E. Mind you, we are assuming the direction of reactions. If the answer obtained is negative, our assumed direction will be wrong and we have to change the direction. So, this diagram is called as a free body diagram. After drawing a free body diagram, what we have to do? We have to apply our conditions of equilibrium. So, the first condition of equilibrium is sigma h is equal to 0. So, if the force is moving in the positive x direction, it will be taken as positive and force is moving in the negative x direction, it will be taken as negative. We can see in this particular diagram, there is only one horizontal force h e. Second condition of e equilibrium that is sigma v is equal to 0. Sigma means algebraic summation, vertical upward force is positive, vertical downward force is negative. We start with R A. R A is acting in vertical upward direction positive, 15 in the downward direction negative, 20 in the downward direction negative and V E in the upper direction positive that is equal to 0. So, we can say that R A plus V E that is equal to 20, 35 kilo Newtons. This is our equation number 1. Then we have to take our third equation of equilibrium and the third equation of equilibrium that is sigma moment is equal to 0. Moment we can take either at support A or at support E. So, suppose we take moment about support E. So, moment about support E to start with first is R A. So, R A is vertical. What will be the distance between the line of action of force and the point where the moment is to be taken? So, we have to take this much force 
and that is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, R A into 6. Now, direction clockwise can be clockwise. So, right hand thumb rule, thumb will show the direction of force. It is in the vertical upper direction. So, upward and my fingers are moving in the anti clockwise direction, right. So, the moment will be anti clockwise. So, R A into 6 anti clockwise and anti clockwise is considered as negative. Second is 15. So, 15 into what is the distance? So, distance is 2, 3, 4. Now, the force is moving in the vertical downward direction. So, my thumb will also show in the downward direction. So, my fingers are showing clockwise. So, the direction will be clockwise and clockwise is taken as positive. Then last is 20 kilo Newton. So, 20 into what is the distance up to point E? So, 20 into 1 and again it is in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive and that is equal to 0. What about V E and H E? We know that V E and H E are coinciding at the same point where the moment is to be taken. So, there is no horizontal or vertical distance that is why V E and H E will not produce any moment. So, what we get 6 R A that is equal to 15 forza 60 plus 20. So, R A that is equal to 60 20 that is 80 by 6 that is equal to 80 by 6 that is 8 by 6 that is 2 point 1.33. So, 13.33 kilo Newtons right. Now, we can substitute the value of R A in, in our equation number 1. So, in equation 1, equation 1 we substitute the value of R A we get 13.33 plus V E that is equal to 35. So, V E that is equal to 35 minus 13.33. So, that gives you 21.67 kilo Newtons. So, 21.67 kilo Newtons. Now, the last step left is we have to find out a single force for the hinge support. We can see over here.